You ever have a, a doctor that you felt was talking down to you and made you feel like you weren't smart enough to understand what he was saying? Or maybe you just felt it was just rude of their behavior. What did you do? Well, our guest today says, if that happens, fire the doctor. Uh, get another doctor. Take a look at this, because joining us this afternoon is our guest, Jennifer Fitzpatrick. She is the author of the new book, Reimagining Customer Service in Healthcare. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. You know, so many people are intimidated. The doctor walks in with the white uh, jacket on and, and we get all nervous. Now, what are some warning signs that the doctor's kind of disconnected, uh, not giving you that personal attention? Well, especially if it's the first time, if the doctor doesn't introduce themselves, that's a red flag. Not making eye contact, if they don't seem to care about you genuinely as a person, those would be some red flags that you'd want to be concerned about. Now, are you hearing that that is a problem? It's becoming a problem? Or what's the scale of rudeness <laughs> in that profession? Well, the reason that I wrote the book is because burnout and compassion fatigue and countertransference are rampant in healthcare right now. And mm -hmm. organizations are really trying to up their game in patient experience, customer service. Part of it is because people retired during the pandemic, mm -hmm. people left in droves during the pandemic health. We, so we have a shortage. And I think that that's one of the reasons that patients aren't getting quite as much good attention these days. Hmm. Now, what do you do if you don't think your doctor is listening to you? You can go home mad and, and fuss, you know, with your family members or what do you do? Well, if you feel like you have a rapport, you have a good relationship, have a conversation with that person. They could be having an off day and let them know your concerns. I've definitely done that with physicians. But at the same time, if it's a new doc or someone that you feel like it's consistently impolite or rude, it's time to take your business elsewhere. Fill out those comment cards. Let the practice or the hospital know mm -hmm. because they need to know this and in order to make the change necessary to keep patients engaged. Wow. So are there risks? You know, you don't want to make your waiter at a restaurant angry because we wonder, oh, what are they going to do to my food? But are there kind of risks when you make your doctor angry? To, yeah, you don't think he's going to maybe not give you the best advice or anything. Well, you? I, you know, listen, I might not get into an argument with my doctor right before a surgery. Uh, don't do but, it. <laughs> but I would, if you're not in the middle of something really acute, a big problem, I'd uh, wait till after that passes before you have that conversation. But exactly like you said, your restaurant server introduces themselves mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. You should have that common courtesy from your physician and anybody in that practice or at the hospital that you, you uh, are engaging with. Now, tell me, how do I remain calm? I'm talking to my doctor. I read something. I think that's what I should do. The doctor tells me something else. I don't want to get angry with them. So is it okay that we disagree? And how do I just kind of walk out? We're still friends. <laughs> Remind them that you respect their authority, their education, their, their experience, but you're the expert in your physical health, mm -hmm. your mental health, and your cognitive health. Wow. They're not the expert in you. You are the expert in you. And you have a right to contribute ideas and to have a back and forth, a give and take. The patriarchal, matriarchal system of the physician is gone. Mm, wow. So lastly, speak up for yourself kind of uh, make a decision on when you're going to speak up for yourself, but not be afraid, huh? Definitely. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I know that speaks to a lot of people. I've been there too. <laughs> okay. Thank Thanks you. For being with us. The name of her new book is Reimagining Customer Service in Healthcare. We're talking with Jennifer Fitzpatrick today.